What's happening again, fellas? Um, this is a repeat video. At least I've done these quite a few times with the throttle linkage. This is on the DLE 170 on the 116 Skywing NG red, yellow, and blue. And uh, by extending the carb arm from the butterfly right here, um, and then using a short um, servo arm on the servo, um, I'm able to get really good resolution. One of the cool things on this carb, uh, it's, it's got the same metal arm that the Walbro carbs have, you know, that you get on the DA and GP. Um, and I think they're just, you know, they just cloned it. Um, and that arm has a small hole and a big hole on the bottom. Well, on the GP, I had to use um, a five millimeter bolt, which is really fat. You know, then it filled that hole, made this thing solid. But I didn't really like using that big a bolt. Um, this one has a nifty little sleeve, which is what I wanted on the other one. I go, can I make myself a sleeve? And I thought, ah, it's too much trouble. So I used the big fat bolt. Well, this came with a sleeve, so you can use um, a small bolt to go through there. A three millimeter. Oh, was it 440? It must have been three millimeter. But much smaller, yeah, three millimeter instead of five millimeter. So that was cool. So anyway, you can see I extended that arm. Um, and then I used my three millimeter push rod. So it has a little tiny bit of give. And then, yeah, I went with a one inch servo arm. And uh, by doing that, and then, you know, you, you work the center to, so you're on center travel right there on your stick uh, towards center of the butterfly and then if you have resolution if you've done everything right then you should have 120 steps of resolution this way 120 steps or at least you know 100 100 I always say you know and if you have over if you have that if you have 100 left and 100 right and or more then you've done a good job you have some resolution Versus like I've been saying all these years too, this is, I always check guys at the field and there'll be 30 left and 70 right. And that's not going to be very good resolution. So in this case, um, I have 120, 120, as you can see there. Um, so that's good resolution. I mean, you could actually get more, um, but that, that works for me. And then in the, you see, I still have a little left here. Um, for my idle, so that's in addition to the 120, 120. See, there you go. That's that idle movement, and uh, that's you know slightly open butterfly for idle. And then from that point, 120, 120. What else did I want to tell you? That's about it. Kind of more of the same. Not sure what I'm going to do on the choke on this. Um, not sure. And then I'm kind of thinking of bailing on the RE3 tune pipes, which I have right over there in a box. Um, in that the headers for the DA170 and the, they also work on the GP178, do not work on the DLE. And then their headers are backward. Um, so I may bail on the headers on this, even though I really wanted to get that sweet sound. Um, May go ahead and put stock mufflers on it, just like go have fun and fly it. But may drop back and put some when the DLE headers come in stock, and then put some tune pipes on it then, or swap motors. <laughs> I don't know. Might get a TA one seventy, throw it on here, so I can put the the RE threes on. Who knows? Um, but for now, probably gonna go with stock mufflers. Probably, I don't know if we're gonna go with the choke servo or not again. We'll see. All right, that's a lot of babbling. Okay, out.